Greetings students, Mr. Little here. And today we're gonna to talk about how to write an evidence beyond the document statement for your AP Social Studies DBQ. That applies to AP World, AP Euro, or AP US History. So let's get to it. This presentation will be using the 2019 AP World Portuguese and Indian Ocean DBQ. So if you'd like to follow along, go to the link below to access a copy of this DBQ. And I will also be using excerpts from graded student responses to help demonstrate the parts of the essay that got the points. So when discussing the general outline of the DBQ, outside evidence can be found in any one of the second through fourth paragraphs. It cannot be found in the opening paragraphs. So it's going to have to come in one of your body paragraphs. What exactly is evidence beyond the documents? And it's actually pretty straightforward and pretty easy. And it is simply any fact, any process, event, person, or development that is not explicitly mentioned in the documents. Anything at all. It's fair game. This is why, as I mentioned in the planning video, we use the brain dump before we actually start reading the documents. This way, we can come up with pieces of information or facts that could be used as evidence beyond the document. However, there's one catch to evidence beyond the document, and that is it cannot, can not be a phrase or a one-off sentence. For example, if we're writing a DBQ about the Portuguese in the Indian Ocean, you cannot just kind of throw out there that, oh, by the way, the Portuguese had this ship called the Karak. That is a fact. It has to do with the Portuguese, has to do with trade, and it has to do with the Indian Ocean. However, just throwing it out there, oh, by the way, last sentence, oh, by the way, the Portuguese had the ship called the Karak. That doesn't count. That's not going to work because outside evidence has to be treated like any piece of evidence. It has to go back to your thesis. Think of it as though it is a supporting statement. How does this piece of outside evidence support your thesis like one of the documents does? So with that said, let's look at a few examples of evidence beyond the document that did get the point. So here you can see I've highlighted in red the piece of evidence itself, and then I've highlighted in blue the connection back to the thesis. So notice on the left, this process is also seen occurring by other European influences in the region later on, period. The joint stock companies of the Dutch and British are very similar in purpose to the Portuguese trading empire. This process is also seen occurring by other European influences in the region later on, period. The joint stock companies of the Dutch and the British are very similar in purpose to the Portuguese trading empire. So if that red sentence right there had just been put at the end of this paragraph, it wouldn't count because I don't understand what's the big deal if the British and the Dutch also had joint stock companies that were similar to the Portuguese trading empire. I don't know. What's the big deal with that? It needs to be connected back to the thesis. That's what the second sentence provides. They exemplify the change in the power of the region towards European domination. And in particular, this thesis focused heavily on political change in the Indian Ocean leading to European domination. The other example has two pieces of outside evidence. They use the term trading post empire, and they also talk about the culturally diverse port cities of the Portuguese Indian Ocean Empire. So you can have more than one piece of evidence beyond the document. And if you're like the writer on the right, you can weave two pieces of evidence together. But the point is, you must have a piece of evidence beyond the documents, and it must be connected back to the thesis. If you keep that in mind, you've got a great evidence beyond the document. I encourage you to practice your brain dumps as well as thinking about evidence beyond the document with the released DBQs. But I want to thank you for joining me. My name is Mr. Little, and I'll see you next time.